and welcome, welcome, welcome. So glad to have you here. Um, I've already made up my resin, which was a difficult process because where I live, um, it's, it's cold outside, which has a tendency to make it a little bit cooler inside the house. Anyway, so um, I thinned it down a little bit and just kept working with it. Um, what I'm see, what I see, uh, what you see here is I'm going to make uh, a set of four coasters. And um, that funky looking mold on the left hand side is uh, the coaster holder. Um, I've got pink mica powder and this is shaped glitter. You can't, I don't really think that you can tell what it is, but it's hearts. Uh, pink shiny hearts so uh, I thought that I would you know kind of go on a delicate note today just kind of lighthearted and um, as you can see I don't know if I've mentioned it in the past but if you pour your um, resin over the side uh, into the cup instead of direct into the cup um, you'll have less bubbles I'm not saying you won't have any bubbles but you'll have a lot less bubbles so here you see me um, just mixing in the the pink mica powder really well I kind of want this to be on the transparent side because um, when I put the hearts in there I want the hearts to really stand out, you know, be the, be the star of the show. So, um, now I'm going to mix the hearts inside of there and mix those up really well. Um, I started this video on Valentine's Day, well actually Valentine's evening. And um, I was going to, you know, just let the resin cure and everything. I was going to come back Monday and finish the video and go ahead and upload it to YouTube. Well, kind of got sidetracked because I live in Texas. And the area of Texas where I live, um, I found out that morning that we were supposed to get down into the 20s. That's right, folks. 26 degrees Fahrenheit. That is unheard of in the part of Texas where I live. So, um, jumped into, uh, you know, hyperdrive, went out and checked all the outside pipes, went to the store, got stuff I needed, came back home, you know, was was, uh, you know, making sure that, you know, I was taking care of the pipes. And by the time I came in, I wasn't even thinking about <laughs> finishing this video. Um, I was just, uh, I was stressed and wondering, you know, hopefully I'm doing the right thing. And anyway, so um, Tuesday I wake up, I had no water. Yeah, <laughs> just kind of freaked me out because I thought, oh, no, you know, the, the pipes are frozen. They're going to burst. Um, still wasn't thinking about the video. And then um, then I lost power. Still couldn't make the video um, until today uh, got power back. Well, actually, yesterday I got power back. But um, this is today's Thursday. So yesterday I got power back. And at that time, I was thinking, okay, let me charge everything. Let me charge phone, you know, um, all my electronics. Just let me charge those up. So today, finally, I'm like, oh, I've got power. Um, I've got charge on everything. Let me finish this video because I really, you know, I really want to give you guys a video 
um, either one video a week. I'm hoping for two videos a week. I'm still trying to work on that. So, um, anyway, um, then tonight, and I wanted to finish this video today because tonight and tomorrow night we're going to be down into the mid-20s for an overnight low. Um, and with the wind chill factor, it's going to be in the mid-teens, like 15, 16 degrees. That's with the wind chill. So, um, I'm doing this now, <laughs> and I'm going to work on uploading it to YouTube tonight. And you guys can you guys can go ahead and watch, because I don't know if I'm going to have power for, you know, the next couple of days. So, um, anyway, um, you know, as you're listening, listening to me babble on and watching uh, the video, um, you can see that it's just a repetitive process. You know, you put the resin in, put the powder in, you know, the, the, the chunky glitter. Um, and, you know, a lot of, a lot of artists are really bothered by um, putting their color in their resin and having to do it more than once um, and having it come out the same color or the same shade. I'm not really bothered by that because um, the, the glitter is actually going to steal the show, so to speak. So if, if I have you know, one or two that maybe come out a little bit darker than um, the other ones, I really don't care. <laughs> so, um, right now I'm uh, finishing up with my fourth coaster, and um, with, the, with the holder, I'm going to make a solid pink, um, kind of. I'm not going to put any glitter in the holder because I really want to have these coasters be the center of attention. So if I make the holder with the glitter in it, it's not going to do that. So, and you'll see what I mean um, once you see the end of the video here. So I'm trying to move these out of the way. They're really... Um, or not skinny, but thin. It's a thin mold. So, um, but the good thing about it is, is that the molds are shiny. So when I pop these out of the molds, the other side is going to be shiny, which is what I really like. So, um, anyway, um, now you can't really see me mixing anything up, kind of, but... Um, I'm putting a lot more pink powder in the resin uh, just to make sure that it's uh, pretty much opaque um, because, you know, like I said, I do want it to uh, be just the solid color. So um, here I'm going to mix, 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 mix. And this, um, you'll see when I pour this resin into the mold that the pink has a gold tint to it, um, which is really cool. I didn't really realize it until I uh, started mixing it up. So right now I'm just getting it to the opacity that I want. So here we go. I'm gonna pour that right into right on top. And when you pour, try pouring as close to the mold as possible because if you don't, you're going to gather a lot more bubbles than if you do pouring it a lot more closer to the mold. So 
So I have some more resin left, and instead of putting more uh, color into it, um, I'm going to pour what I have left into uh, just the clear. I'm going to pour it on top and see what kind of effects it's going to give me. See how slow I'm pouring? You can see how thick that resin is, and that's because it's cooler than normal in the house because of it being cold outside. And I have my heater on in the house, too, so, um, yeah, that just tells you how cold it is. So, I'm going to let these set, but um, I was thinking about it. I've got alcohol. Um, if you don't have a heat gun, you can take, um, and please take 99% uh, isopropyl alcohol, um, put it in a bottle, and just lightly spray the top of your molds, and that will pop your bubbles. Now this resin, like I said, is um, thicker, it's a little bit thicker than normal, so I'm having to spray just a few times more um the thinner your resin you won't have any bubbles the first time you um you uh missed your molds with the alcohol so i'm waiting for those bubbles to pop and um in the mold in the uh, coaster mold or coaster holder mold the bubbles decided to um uh, make a home near the uh, edge of the mold so I'm trying to uh, get rid of a lot of them and and I did but um, I'm just thinking it's the bottom <laughs> who's going to be looking at the bottom of it right so um, I'm going to let these set and um, these are going to be for sale um, so if you're interested, please contact me at IndiaBradyArt at gmail.com and I will quote you a price and uh, we can go from there. There's a big bubble right there I'm trying to get that. I don't know if you've noticed, but when I lift up that stick, the resin's leaving a really long trail. And when that happens, yeah, <laughs> your resin is starting to cure. So um, that's it. Just a second, and I'm back. A few days later, but I'm back. So anyway, we're um, going to have some fun here in... Uh, unmold or demold how, however you want to say that a lot of people um, say demold but if you can tell um, it's got a really cool pattern on the bottom of it which uh, kind of looks like uh, some webbing and you can see right here with me unmolding it it's got that uh, gold tint to it it's really pretty I think it's really pretty see the bottom so here come the coasters okay there's the bottom and there's the top now when you're working with uh, glitter it doesn't matter if it's fine glitter chunky glitter shaped glitter it doesn't matter when you pour that resin into the molds with the glitter in it, that glitter is going to sink to the bottom of your mold. So always remember that. So pretty. You can see the little hearts. And there you go. A set of coasters. And here's the final product.